So Ahlul Bayt Qais is reading this verse and he says that you know perhaps I don't I don't think this is me. You know I seek Allah's refuge that this is this is me. And then, then he comes across the verse that says wa a'tarafu bi dhunubihim khalatu wa 'amalan salihan wa akhara sayyi'a asa Allah an yatuba 'alayhim inna Allah ghafurur rahim. And then you have a group of people who have good deeds and bad deeds. The good deeds are mixed with their bad deeds, the bad deeds are good are mixed with their good deeds. And he says that perhaps and these people are hopeful for Allah's reward, Allah's forgiveness. He says that this is me. Inshallah, this is me. You know, I, I've done good, I've done bad, but I'm hopeful for Allah's forgiveness. You and I, when we read the Quran, this is how we need to engage the Quran. Quran at the very basic level is for every Muslim. Sure, there is a level, some academic depth to the Quran that can only be accessed if you have certain uh, prior knowledge. But at a very basic level, the Quran is for every believer. Allah didn't say that it's for the ones who know Arabic. Allah didn't say it's for the ones who've studied for this many years. Allah says for the ones who believed. For the one who has a heart, a receptive heart. Any believer who has a receptive heart comes to the Quran with this intention of taking from the you know, blessings of the Quran, then this Quran is for you. And this is how the intention we should make in the month of Ramadan. We have one qira'ah, which is just like our tilawa that we recite the Quran. But we also should recite the Qur'an with the intention of seeing where we can find ourselves in the Qur'an. 